Hey y'all, it's KJ and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial for y'all. Of course y'all know I'm using Expressions hair. I have a pack of black and a pack of blonde. I have some deep wave or deep bulk crochet hair. I would suggest just to let y'all know before y'all go out and buy this hair buy human deep wave hair because it the style will last way longer please try not to buy synthetic hair because it does tangle up but anyway what i'm doing is taking my braiding hair and splitting it up into three sections so i um, it's hard to explain how I folded it but basically i folded it into three even sections and then i cut it if that makes sense so now i'm I cut off one section, now I'm cutting the second section in half. And they're all even. So that way my braids weren't way too long because the curly part is pretty long. And if I would have did them long, if I would have did the braiding hair long, the curly part would have been way, way, way past my butt. So that's why I did it in three sections. You can do yours in two sections or half and half if you want to. But out of each little bulk, I got 10 braids. And the curly crochet hair automatically breaks itself up into little even or semi even pieces so that's how I did that in order to get my braid of course I split it into three sections and used one section and wrapped it around and put that section together so on top and then put it together so y'all will see that right now and I'm just going to start braiding I have plenty of regular braiding tutorials the point of this video is to show y'all how i added in the curly crochet hair to get the curls at the end and also the braids that have the curl coming out in the middle and you know randomly throughout the braid now also the front part of the hair which is different from anything that i have seen in general but especially on youtube i have not seen anybody do tribal braids that were goddess braids so that's why i went ahead and tried something different i really hope y'all enjoy this tutorial i'm gonna talk through it as much as possible but i don't want to talk through the entire video because y'all know i can talk okay but basically i'm just gonna you know explain to y'all the best that i can what i'm doing so i'm just doing a basic box braid all the way down but until um but when i get to the part of the hair where it starts to taper off and get really skinny i'm gonna go ahead and add in a piece of curly crochet hair so as y'all see right now the braid is starting to get really really skinny i'm gonna reach back and grab one little piece of crochet hair and i'm going to add that in and i'm not gonna do anything special i'm literally just adding it in and continuing to braid I'm going to put it in and continue to braid down. Nothing special. I'm not doing anything different with my fingers or anything. I'm literally putting it on top of the piece that's in between my pen, um, my thumb and pointer finger and continuing to braid down. That's it.
so at this point I'm adding in the curly crochet here at the beginning I'm just gonna put the curly crochet in with the braiding here and braid down normal then as I braid down I'm going to separate the hair and hold it in my mouth or y'all can hold it with a clip but it was just easier for me to do it this way and just hold it outside of the braid and continue to braid down and then once I get to the end I'm gonna go ahead and add in another piece of curly crochet hair but when I separated half the pack of the curly crochet hair in the beginning and I ended up leaving I cut I separated some that were the full length and then I cut the others the other part in half the long pieces were so that I could have them hanging out and the short pieces were for the end Okay, so right now I'm starting on my tribal braids. You can really do any design of tribal braids that you want to, but I'm doing a four feeding braid on one side, and on that side I'm going to have one going forward and three going back, and then on the other side I'm going to have them all coming towards my face, which is what I did in a tribal braid video back in the summertime. Um, I'm doing a bohemian braid for this one going forward, which I think I did bohemian braids for all of them going forward. The bohemian braid is the braid that has the curl coming out at random spots throughout the braid. The goddess braid is the one that has the curl coming out only at the end. So now I'm going to start with my backwards braids. I didn't really want to do my braids really small. Um, Y'all, it took me a very long time to do this hairstyle on myself. It took me about six to seven hours. So, yeah, I was not about to do super small braids in the front. But, you know, if y'all want y'all braids to be a little closer together, y'all can definitely go ahead and do so. But I'm pretty much just doing the same thing that I did in the back. Only difference is I'm doing feed-in braids to the scalp and then the ends are the same as the ones in the back.
Okay, so at this point, I'm done doing my hair, and I'm going to go ahead and mousse it down. I pretty much mousse my hair every day because of the curly crochet hair, but if you do um, human crochet hair or human curly hair, you probably won't have to do that every day. But I just went ahead and added some little jewels and string just to jazz up the hairstyle a bit and this is pretty much the end result i hope y'all enjoyed this tutorial thanks for watching i'm gonna be back soon with another video i'm gonna try to do a video on where i have been and why i haven't been on youtube and i'm going to start making more consistent videos y'all college is kicking my butt but you know what i'm back and i'm better and i hope y'all enjoyed this tutorial and send me pictures if y'all do decide to try it thanks for watching bye